Good morning guys, happy Vlogmas day 18. Say good morning, happy Vlogmas. Hi. So as you can see, Oakland and I are getting ready to go out. We're meeting my mom for lunch today. Um, we are supposed to go shopping at 9.30 and I did not wake up until 9.45. My alarm had been going off for over an hour and it just was like on silent or something. So that's my bad. But she had an appointment anyways. So she just went and did that and then her and I are gonna meet. Bye Bobby, I love you. Let's go honey. So we're heading out to lunch right now. We might do some shopping if we have time. I have some returns to make. Which I'm glad I said that. Because I have one return for Target, one return for Amazon. Well, more like exchanges, not returns, but I'll talk in the car. It is a whopping 27 degrees outside today. So we are heating up this car. Hi, baby. And then we're heading out to meet my mom. Um. If you guys saw those gingerbread jammies in yesterday's vlog, they looked so cute on Oakland, but they just like didn't fit. I didn't know that Burt's Bees made snug fit and loose fit, and they only do like certain prints, I guess, in each style. I really wanted those gingerbread ones. They weren't supposed to be in stock until December 20th, but my mom and I we, like chanced it. I got them two days ago, so December 14th, and I'm gonna give her her pacifier. December 14th and they're so cute. I tried them on and they like are three inches too long on her feet, way too much space, not tight on her arms at all. Like, I, but I didn't know that they made a looser snug fit. send those back and get her a different type of snug fit ones um, because she a few days ago completely ran out of her zero to three month pajamas like doesn't fit them at all so the only ones I have are three fleece ones that are zero to three month because for some reason they're like longer because they're fleece and then two from Burt's Bees that are three to six month in snug fit and then I have one pair of three month from Carter's and I feel like they mislabeled it because it still fits her and it's like the exact same brand as all of the other jammies that don't fit her. So I literally have three actual, yeah. I have three pairs of actual pajamas that she can wear and two that are, or three that are fleece, but she does not wear fleece to bed because she gets really cold and clammy. I don't know if that's just my kid, but that's always how it's been. If she has like heavy, like a really fuzzy blanket. Yeah. If she has like a really fuzzy thick blanket around her, like on her skin, she gets really clammy and she can't wear fleece pajamas because she gets super clammy and um, sweaty. So technically I have three pajamas for her to wear, three for her to look cute or like if we're going out, I can put a onesie underneath it and then she can wear those, but not for sleeping so I really need to send these back so we can get her more I know she's getting more for Christmas so I just need jammies though now but anyways I'm driving heading out to lunch and see you soon we're here my mom's right there I just woke up from my nap hello we just got done with lunch at Red Robin. It was so yummy. <sighs> but my mom has a meeting downtown now and we're like not close to downtown. <sighs> and then she's meeting my sister at two and I'm contemplating going, I want to go, but it's now 37 degrees outside and like everything's outside obviously. So we'd have to walk around and. Hi booty. Hi booty queen. Hi. <gasps> I love you. What are you doing? Hello! But I just don't know if she's gonna be 
I don't know if it's too cold. She ate two hours and 15 minutes ago. Like I just feel like she's gonna scream the whole way there unless I feed her here. Ugh. I don't know. Or should I just go home and then meet up with them later? I don't know. I'm just gonna take her home, I think. I'll just tell my mom. home I don't want to deal with the traffic and stuff and getting there it's already gonna be a hassle getting home so she found her voice okay I just thought this was funny so this is typical Idaho this is like our main street like one of our busiest streets and over there is like banks and shopping centers and food and all of that is like food and crazy stuff and that's a potato field <laughs> We had to take a stop at Target because someone squeamed the whole way. Someone was squeaming. Who was it? It was Oakland. It was Oakland. A little O A K L Y N. Ooh. So, wow. I fed her. She's much happier now. She keeps looking out the window and going, ooh. And we're going to change your bum. And since mom has a return, we might as well just go into Target. Am I right? Or am I right? I wanted to go home because I didn't want to feed her in the parking lot where I was. It was so busy and I'm just really not comfortable over there, like on that side of town by myself. Um, however, Target is pretty close to my house and this is like where I grew up and I just know this area, like back of my hand. Um, so I, just, I feel a lot more comfortable here, especially in the Target parking lot. There's cameras everywhere. Like I just, I feel a lot safer here. Hi. And so, and anyways, I, we couldn't make it home we really needed to eat and this outfit she's had she's worn this outfit two times this is her third and of those three times including this she's blown out of it twice like bad so I was just like she was screaming and I was like she's probably blown out in this outfit again like this outfits cursed she probably blew out in it again so I need to check that so we had to stop I needed to come to Target anyways and I really wasn't ready to go home I just didn't want to feed her where I was so Oh my gosh, she's such an angel. I, I love her so much, this is insane. This is crazy. I love you so much, baby. Anyways, I'm gonna change her butt right now, put her back in her car seat, and we are gonna go into Target. <laughs> yeah. Target was a huge bust. Like, literally, even the overflow parking, which is never full. Like, I don't even know why they, I, I do now, but before, like, I never knew why they built it. It was, when I parked there, I was the only car there. It was packed full. Like, I literally had such a hard time getting the car seat in, and the guy was literally sitting in his car, right, like, watching me struggle, because his he parked so close. Like, there's so many people, so. <sighs> Anyways. It's a big old bust. I found a couple things for Riley and my brothers, um, but we just do like one person, one sibling gets one sibling, and then we like switch every year. Um, and so the stuff that I found, I found stuff for Riley, but his presents are already done. Found stuff for my one brother who I don't have as my gift, and then my other brother I do have, but all of his stuff is like I need to order it. And for some reason, they don't have Yeti mugs on. Amazon I could be wrong but like the specific mug I was looking for they did not have so I had to order off of the Yeti website which was fine except for I'm just worried it won't get here fast enough now but I still need to order stuff for my sister who Riley has and I'm like just a little stressed because I don't know what to do like I don't know 
we are really bad about sending our lists beforehand so we just a couple of days ago got like everybody's lists and so now I'm really stressed because I just feel like I don't have enough time or anything like I don't know I'm just stressed and rambling so I'm on Amazon right now looking at socks for one of my brothers I know he doesn't watch this so no worries <laughs> and then um, I have a couple of other things for my sister to get but she does watch so I'm not gonna talk about it Oakland fell asleep like three minutes ago or 20 minutes ago um, and the app the Huckleberry app that I've been using that um, just to like track her sleep and stuff to find out if this is a regression or not has been so helpful It's literally always spot on within like five minutes of when she actually falls asleep Not when she starts getting grumpy and I'm like, oh, she probably should go to sleep soon Like it's like her sweet spot is at two o'clock like that's when her nap will be and she fell asleep at 203 <laughs> And it does I was like her bedtime's at 930 it would be like the most ideal bedtime for her and it was 8 30 and i was like i don't know she seems tired and she was kind of fussy but like just stayed awake stayed awake fought it stayed awake played with us for a little bit and then literally fell asleep at 9 37 like i don't know how this thing's so spot on but it is it's called huckleberry i love it i see i think i'm gonna do a whole video on it because i just i really think it's a great app i really like it uh, it's been really helpful and it's free so that's great too. Um, what the heck? I want other styles of socks. This is crazy. <sighs> okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> but I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. We're just gonna go upstairs and watch um, some Christmas movies. I think I'm gonna watch Claws on Netflix, and then um, I don't know what else. Probably just hang out until Riley gets home. But. That was exhausting. I didn't even end up getting the stuff I had picked out for me. Like I need dry shampoo and some teeth whitening strips. And I honestly think I'm gonna balayage my hair again by myself. I don't know if you guys have seen that video. It's my most popular video. Um, yeah, I balayaged my hair by myself years ago and it looked so good. And I honestly think I, I still have all the stuff. Well, I've like bought new stuff since, but I still have it all. I, think I honestly might do it by myself because no one can get me in for an appointment and I really want to do it before Christmas I'm just worried I'll mess it up and then like wish I was just back to this like stable brown but I don't know I honestly think I might do it and video it <laughs> my dog's gonna freak out anyways Whew. it's 5 25 now and my mom came and picked me up Oakland is at home with Riley we have Duke and we're going to Sally Beauty's. I'm actually gonna do my hair tonight. I just don't know when, cause I like can't be feeding Oakland when I have bleach on my body. So anyways, I'll figure out the timing, but we're going to Sally's cause I needed more stuff than I expected cause I wanna get fresh new stuff so that it doesn't, like I have developer and some stuff, but it's been a year or so old and so I don't wanna, I don't wanna keep it and then it not go well or whatever. So, just getting new stuff and that means he came on a ride. Good boy. Oh boy, I'm so excited but I'm so nervous. I used to do this all the time. I used to do my hair all the time, no stress. No worry, I'm so nervous this time. I almost texted him and was like, no, I can't, I'm just kidding. I'm so nervous. Oh well, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Okay. I'll show everything in the video if you guys are actually interested, but I got all of this stuff to do it. And I have like the bowls and mixing stuff. My mom got this for Oakland while she was out shopping. It was on like crazy sale. It's basically like, Bill's just like a bumbo seat, but it's the little tykes version and it has the little, I don't know, tray. And then she got her these little outfits. It's cute little dress buffalo plaid dress and then this little like peplum shirt it looks like a dress too but like it could fit that way but so cute her sizes right now I'm obsessed I don't think we're gonna do anything else tonight and I'm not gonna do my hair until tomorrow so and that'd be its own video anyways but I'm nervous and I'm stressed for that I hope it turns out good um but other than that I don't really have anything for right now so
on this cold December day, we are on our merry way, riding along, just singing a song, barreling through the snow. Bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling, Rudolph knows where to go. On this cold December day, I am piloting my sleigh. The work to be done on my Christmas run is the most tired chore. No girl or boy without a toy, so giddy up, Rudolph, my dear. 